being a drone pilot, I get to film some pretty cool stuff. But today, we've got the hard hat on and I'm gonna be flying my drone in a wind farm. And I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So this is kind of like a day in the life of a drone pilot. One of the things to consider if you ever want to get into this business of flying drones for construction companies, you're waiting around a lot. Like, I'm gonna wait an hour before anything even happens here. So, you know. And then when they put the blades up, that's gonna be another two hours in between this going up. So I've got a good four or five hours just sitting here. This is my posse. Got a time-lapse camera going. I've got a banana and a muesli bar and some water, so. Hopefully that keeps me going. See up there? That's what we're filming today. We are filming wind farm construction. So those blades are going up there. They got nacelle going up there. It is all happening, mate. So here we go, I've launched my drone and I'm here to film a couple of lifts. Now this is what's called an nacelle and it's obviously a section of a wind turbine. Now you have to be careful when filming these things because there's a lot of guide ropes as you can see below this. And what I was trying to do is because this is a fairly quick lift, this particular part, I wanted to capture as many different angles as I could. And shooting with the Mavic 3 Pro made this so easy. I could just add a click of a button, zoom in and uh, zoom out and get some really cool shots. Now, as you can see, it's always really important to see where the sun is. Shoot with the sun to make your images look better. There's no point shooting into the sun, shooting shadows. We have to highlight what we're shooting. Now, here you can see I'm kind of tracking around this and I've got the wind turbines in the background, which is really cool. You have to give what you're shooting perspective as well because these things are so big it's really hard to kind of give them scale especially when you're shooting with a drone so to do that zooming in and compressing the footage with a three times or seven times zoom just makes everything look so big now with the zoom camera on the Mavic 3 Pro, it's really cool because it gives us so many more shooting options. You know, now we can see actually the riggers inside the turbine pushing and pulling this thing. I mean, with our old drones, we weren't allowed to get close enough to the actual turbine to be able to capture this stuff. But now with the Mavic 3 Pro, we can zoom in and we can capture this amazing footage that we couldn't capture before. I mean, look at that. That is just, that is amazing footage to see. You don't normally get to see that because normally they have restrictions. They don't want you anywhere near this turbine or the crane while you're filming. So to be able to zoom in is just so brilliant. All right, so the nacelle is up. Now we just have to capture the blade going up. Waited a couple of hours. Looks like they're getting ready to go. Let's go. Now to move on to shooting this blade. Now this is a little bit different to shooting the nacelle because the blade takes a little bit longer to do. Now, while I said before that we are sitting around a lot waiting for this to happen, you have to be ready to go when they are ready to lift because everything is moving so quickly and you don't want to be out of position or, you know, running to your drone to launch and you always want to have a full battery ready because sometimes they can have mishaps or just they slow it down because the wind picks up or something like that. So you have to have a good battery because you don't know how long you're going to be flying for so it's always good to be prepared for everything and always a full SD card. Now as you can see here I'm kind of flying back and forth because nothing's really happening with the blade. Um, they're adjusting the crane you can see the crane um, lines moving slightly but the blade isn't lifting yet so I'm just kind of hovering I'm trying to save battery um, and that is something you have to do as well if they're not lifting you want to maintain your battery because it is a wind farm it's windy so your battery is going to 
decrease super quick if you're an idiot while flying your drone. Now, when the blade is going up, there's also a lot more guide ropes with this. So you have to be really careful. In some of the shots, you can't even see the guide ropes, but here you can see those guide ropes and you do not want to be flying into those. So this is also when the zoom camera comes in absolutely clutch because you can stay ages away from those guide ropes and still get this really nice clean footage. Now, like I said before, this would be pretty boring if I just had a wide lens and I was just going around and around and around. You really need to, when you're filming construction, make it interesting. You need to show how big the asset is. So by getting those different shots, by getting a wide shot, by getting a medium shot, by getting a real close-up shot, you're going to make your footage so much more valuable to the client. So here I'm grabbing the stock standard wide shot and then this is the seven times zoom on the Mavic 3 Pro. Like this is amazing. Look at the parallax. It's such a dynamic drone. Now this is a much longer process than the previous lift. So I've done a few of these now so I know how long it takes and luckily the Mavic 3 Pro battery is pretty good. I can do this all on one battery but you want to be launching at the right time. You don't want to launch too soon and be waiting 10 minutes for them to start lifting. You wait until they start lifting and then you launch. And here we go again, like this looks pretty stock standard. Yeah, it's a big crane and all that, but then you see there's an actual little person inside there. And previously we wouldn't have been able to show that at all, but zooming in, we can actually see a little high vis man is in there and he's reaching out to the blade. So this is really cool stuff. And the companies that we work for just absolutely love this footage because no one's seen stuff like this before. This is, you know, pretty revolutionary for this drone to be able to capture this type of footage. One other thing is, you know, I was up there for an extra 15 minutes getting the actual blade coming in and locking into the nacelle. This is quite a process. It goes in and out, in and out, in and out. Uh, but you want to capture everything for the client. So I know I sound like a broken record, but you really need to manage your batteries when shooting construction overlay. And this is pretty high pressure. I mean, you don't want to be stuffing up right now when you've got a big paying client trusting you to film their job construction. There is a lot of moving parts to filming a construction video and working with big budget clients like this. And that's why I've created a drone filmmaking course and we cover this all in depth. We go from teaching a complete beginner how to set up your drone all the way through to advanced techniques to how to set up your drone to get the best cinematic shots, what drone shots you need to be getting, how to avoid shaky footage, how to color grade, how to 3D map, how to land these big budget clients and actually start making money from your drone. Go Going from a complete beginner to a complete pro. So click the link, we are having a bit of a sale at the moment, it's 50% off for a limited time only, there's only 200 people available to go into this course at this price, so do not miss out if you want to take your drone skills to the next level. And that's it guys, I will see you in the next video, hooroo.